in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. The Arabic word Islam means peace, which in turn reflected that your relation with all creatures should be peaceful, merciful, and tolerant. That leads to stability and to comfort inside the society. Because we as Muslim, looking forward to sublimity and progress, not only for us, but for the world as well. Islam is built up upon five pillars. The first one is to testify that there is no God but Allah. Why? Because if you imagine that you are sitting in, cl uh, in a class, and you have three teachers are explaining at the same time. Will you understand anything? I don't think so. I think you will, be, you will be confused. So Allah is the only one to give his orders to his creatures without confusing. Imagine if there are three gods. One of them will give you an order and the other will give you another order. And so on. And we say or mention that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Why? If I ask you, what the last certificate have you got? You will mention I obtained PhD or diploma or I obtained bachelor and so on. You don't mention all the certificates which you have got, but you mention the last one. So we as Muslims mentioned the last one. Came to this universe, Muhammad based be upon him. But in fact, we believe in all the prophets. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Jacob, etc. We cannot say that one of them is better than the others. We love all of them. We believe in all of them. But we mention Muhammad because he, based on Christi upon him, is the last one. What about you? Which is better, love or hatred? I think love is better for the, uh, for the, the beast, for the people. We love all the prophets. The second pillar of Islam is to perform prayers five times a day. Do you know the eraser? The eraser. I think you know it. Why do you use it? I think to correct or raise the mistakes. So we as Muslims have got five erasers every day. To build ourselves from sins and from mistakes, it is prayer. What is the main wisdom beyond performing prayers on a regular basis five times every day? Allah ordained it five times every day to purify among the Muslims and to erase the sins. Uh, as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, asking and talking to his companions, do you think if in one of you lives close by a water stream from which he can wash himself five times every day, would be there any debt left on him after that? They implied no. Uh, then he replied, I'm saying the same thing. If that Allah erases and wipes out with prayers your sins, he is the, uh, it is a common attribute in the mankind, the son of Adam, to commit sin and do mistakes and nothing more important or valuable to wash out uh, your sins than to pray and ask Allah forgiveness. This says, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great opportunity to perform prayers for the real good believers to increase their deeds and for those transgressors to stop and quit committing their evil deeds. The Prophet once said, Allah has an angel who calls five times every prayer upon mankind and says, go pray and there is with prayers yourselves and to put the fire of the sins down with prayers. The prophets once said, you by the sins are, he, are being hated, are hated in the hell fire till you pray the own prayer, then your sins are forgiven. And you are hated again in the hell fire till you wash out uh, your sins then to pray and ask Allah forgiveness. This says, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great opportunity to perform prayers for the real good believers to increase their deeds and for those transgressors to stop and quit committing their evil deeds. The Prophet once said, Allah has an angel who calls five times every prayer upon mankind and says, 
Go pray and be raised with prayers yourselves, and to both the fire of the saints down with prayers. The prophets once said, You by the saints are, he, are being hated, are hated in the hellfire till you pray the own prayer. Then your sins are forgiven. And you are hated again in the hellfire till your prayer, uh, the non prayer. Then your bad deeds are washed up. And again you are hated up again in, uh, in the hellfire till you pray the afternoon prayer. And then your sins are forgiven. And then you are hated up again in the hellfire till you pray the sunset prayer. Then your sins are forgiven. And you are hated again in the hellfire till you pray the night prayer. And then your sins are forgiven. And when you sleep, nothing will be recorded on you till you wake up. The third pillar in Islam is Portius, another name, almost giving, another name, the cat. It is throwing Portius, hatred and spleen are overcome, and love and the affability are developed to be everywhere in the hearts of the faithful. So the right, security and affability are clearly shown in the Muslim community through Portius. The first pillar in Islam is fasting. It is a man every year. Not only uh, is fasting abstain uh, from eating and drinking and smoking and sex one, etc. from going to something, but it is also the abstention from all that displeases Allah, glory be to Him. Fasting has been uh, made compulsory for the faithful uh, so that they may be pious. Although the, uh, the abstain from eating and drinking from going to something, uh, uh, they will uh, satiate it especially. It is the high time for the faithful in fasting to have their hearts fit and their soul vitalized to get closer to paradise with good intentions, words and deeds. Uh, uh, after that, the pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is the fifth pillar of Islam. This pillar is the pillar through which Allah grants those who perform accepted pilgrimage and unital uh, status, having their sins forgiven altogether. It is a golden chance for every Muslim to have, him, uh, to have himself recorded to himself as pure as he created and just as he came to this life. Thank you for listening to this Mustafa Sikh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.